Hey yo guys, Wagwan. Today I have a video for the newbies and the OGs. Today's video is about the sleeper cars that are found in CSR2. These cars range from tier 2 to tier 3 to tier 4, but I only have tier 2 and tier 3 cars because those will be the better sleeper cars in this video. I have about six of them, including one bonus sleeper car. Sleeper car means the car doesn't look like it will go as fast as a certain class, but it actually competes with the higher class vehicles. So I could take a tier two or tier one car and race it against a tier five car. And you know, people like the newbies, the ones who are just getting started in the game would love to have a tier one or tier two or even tier, tier three cars to compete in this game so they can get a lot of cash gold parts for their cars and all sorts of fun stuff to compete in the game and live races so before we take long on this intro let's get right into the video so right off the bat we're starting with their tier 2 mercedes-benz 300 sl and we are racing with a bentley continental gt which is a tier 5 car Trust me on this one. This is a true sleeper. Watch it. So I started off, he went off before me, nitrous on his second gear, and I just started to nitrous on my fourth. And I just flew right past him, right past him. I kept the top gear and he couldn't catch up on me. He couldn't catch up and I still beat him. Another car is the MX-5 Miata Tier 2. And we're racing against a Venom GT. This car usually races against Bugattis, Koenigseggs, Porsches, McLarens, and all those top Lamborghini and Ferrari cars. And right here, we're racing with a Miata, a Mazda. And he went off before me as a Venom should do. And I'm just gonna keep up, skip through my gears with the nitrous going all the way. And I just flew right past him and I kept the top gear 299 kilometers per hour and I passed the finish line and he didn't even show back on the screen. Third car is the Mini Cooper, John Works Cooper S and I'm racing against a Viper ACR Extreme Aero. The Extreme Aero comes with a big wing on the back, some aerodynamics on the skirts right there and on the guard at the back, wider mufflers for more power and here I go. This Mini Cooper is a front wheel drive so it shouldn't even be racing against this Viper. But lucky, lucky me, I have a fully upgraded Mini Cooper and it totally wrecked that Viper. Tier five Viper, by the way. All these cars that I'm gonna be racing against are tier fives. Here comes a Audi RS5 Coupe, which I have put in a nice blue with orange accents, orange calipers, and a nice five spoke wheel. And I'm racing against a Venom F5 Concept. Another Venom, a car that should be racing against Bugattis, Koenigseggs, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Porsches, all of those top tier cars, yet I'm driving an Audi and I'm beating him on the fifth gear right here before I even reach half mile. This Audi is a boss. That This Audi kept up with him and it rents across the line at 365 kilometers per hour. Here at tier three, I'm racing a Mustang GT Premium against a Huracan STO. Now, the Huracan STO is a fully upgraded, fully aerodynamic, fully redesigned Huracan used for racing on the track. And I'm using a normal road car with green wheels to beat this Huracan. I started off the, off the race and I, I didn't even see him. I flew right off the line and you can't see him on the screen anywhere. It's like I'm racing against myself. That car couldn't keep up with the Mustang GT Premium. So guys, when you're at tier three, please buy that car and upgrade it. Here we have the Camaro SS Chevrolet and I'm racing against another Venom GT. As I said, these cars should be racing against those top cars in the world, those luxury cars, Finir, Lycon, Bugatti, Ferrari, Porsche, you know, those top supercars and hypercars. Yet I'm here racing a normal road Camaro SS against this Venom. Now you can see he blew right past me, so I hit that nitrous and flew out in my gears and I just passed him like nothing. And he's off the screen like I'm racing against myself. This car is a boss. Now for the bonus car, I have the Aston Martin DB5. Now when you buy this car for the Legends series in CSR2, please keep this car. Do not 
think that hey you you should throw it away and not use it again because trust me i'm racing against a cuda torque weaver custom tier 5 car which the weaver is one of the fastest tier 5 cars in the class and you're gonna see here that i completely destroyed that car as i'm skipping through my gears this camera is zooming in i'm gonna fly right past him and i just fly right off the line and win this race totally epic when you're at tier 3 please go ahead and purchase these cars tier 2 tier 3 go ahead and purchase the cars that i've shown in the video you will never go wrong just upgrade them and race them you will get your money back and you will get a lot of fun stuff peace out